Hello and welcome back to Terra Life Plus on Farming Simulator 22. Right, we did just unload the very last bit of milk uh, powder, I believe it is. No, not the powder, but the actual milk replacer. That's what it is, the milk replacer. The powder we did get uh, removed out of the back of the rustler into the little uh, milk wagon here. And we've put it into one of the pens. So that is very good. I think it was this one here. Yes, because they are good for water as well, which I did in between the uh, this episode and the last one. I uh, brought a bit of water in, and I believe that if we just hop over here, they are, right, 1562. So yeah, they've got a bit more uh, milk replacer, I think is the only major difference. Um, but we do still have some milk replacer here, as you can see on the... Unimog. I have put the calf hay in there. I did remove the lime. I just tucked it around the side here. I think that's fine outside. I think it's better outside. Uh, it's still covered, so it won't get affected by the rain or anything. There's no holes in the bag, so it should be good, especially for how often we're actually using it. Now, we do need to be careful about loading milk replacer into the rustler here because of loading into the back here. So I'm, I'm somewhat tempted to keep something in there to avoid having to faff with that again. If it does, it's a really simple fix, I guess. Just scooping it into the actual tanker there. But, yeah. And I've also left the water tanker there as well. Just for when I was using the Unimog to uh, load things around. But, we are actually going to collect some colostrum. So, mother's milk. Obviously not something we can get from our own farm. Unfortunately, that is... The downside to uh, from what I've found at least I can't see anywhere anywhere at all in the shop anywhere at all at all <laughs> to purchase uh, mother's milk so which makes sense it literally comes from their mother so if they don't you know what I mean so what we're going to do because it even says here they, they must absorb these within the first colostrum the, the future health depends heavily on how much high quality colostrum they do or do not consume in the first few hours of life so luckily we did get some to them straight away however uh, we do need to do that some more as you can see we are nearly running out luckily for us there is a farm nearby that's willing to sell it to us and uh, the price is i guess reasonable enough this little uh, milk wagon that we hold or that we have holds 30 no 350 360 liters something like that we'll find out in a moment uh, but we will go down to the farm uh, nearby here that we can actually buy some from uh, which would be really really good to have so we are going to be paying I believe it's about 500 a load which is not cheap not cheap at all really because it will <laughs> it will be lots of loads but the other thing as well is that we can't actually put colostrum into anything else not a single other thing except for this wagon all the smaller version of it uh, the handheld one Oop, watch the fence there Right, so this is the farm here, so I'm going to go and speak with the farmer, and uh, we'll purchase some mother's milk. Right, so we're just heading back now to the farm from the other farm, and uh, yeah, this will definitely take some time to get sorted. Uh, we're getting 340 litres of colostrum at a time, at 500 per load, so basically we're paying about £2,000 for every 13 or so hundred litres, which... Considering we don't, we can't get it anywhere else, I don't know what the price would be elsewhere. So that seems right. But if it's wrong, or if there is another way to get colostrum from somewhere, then please do let me know. I will actually be honest with you as well. As soon, as soon as we can harvest something. So I'm hoping to make some hay. As soon as we can make hay, then I'm hoping to have some, uh, some adult cows on the farm. Not just for colostrum but just to progress things as well what is going on here this bloody shovel is really in the way I do wish that we had a slightly bigger tanker for this but as long as I can get it right in there that's pretty much as close as it's gonna get so if it doesn't trigger yeah the triggers are a bit finicky on this uh, on this map certainly I don't think it's just this farm, I think it's just meant to keep things very tight, which again adds to the, the realism of it all as well, except that this should be easier to deal with. It would be nice if we could hand move it as well, but I don't think we can, just the one, and it's so much smaller as well. 
Maybe I'm just in the wrong place. Am I putting it in the wrong place? I just did this last episode as well. I just did it with this other one. The other pen. Yeah, it must be right where that cow is. Come on, cow. Get back in your bloody pen so I can give you some colostrum, please. Because, yeah, this this will become problematic if I have to do this every every bloody time. Um, yeah, there's, no, it doesn't make any sense. Right, I'm going to try again, and if not, then I'll just uh, do a quick little jump cut to get through this. Because it is a faff. Yeah, I might need to get the handheld one. It's a bloody shame there's nothing, a bigger container that we can add this into. Um, if anyone, again, does know, that would be absolutely fantastic. Because, yeah, I really can't get much closer than this. There we go. Stupid thing. Like, that's literally, like, where I was two seconds ago. So it is a shame. But nevertheless, what I'm going to do is, because they're colostrum levels are so bloody low I will go and do a fair few trips of this now to be fair this will fill up rather quickly but again this is not going to be a permanent solution this is by and far the most temporary possible thing we can do because we just don't have any of it so I'll probably do two or three loads per pen just to just to get them stocked up and then we've also got the milk uh, replacer that we'll use as well uh, for the 30% I believe because this colostrum that we're picking up from this farm is worth 40% of their overall food absolutely mental but that is fine absolutely fine right we'll head down to this other farm and get the colostrum loaded into the calves all right, well, that is it for the colostrum. That was a fair few trips that we did do down to the uh, the farm there. I'm just going to try and get this spun around so that we can bring in a bit of the milk replacer as well. I'm um, hoping I can just get it straight into here um, instead of... Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Milk replacer in. So I will just show you what's been done over here. So if you look at their food now... Their food is uh, doing quite well. So I did figure out exactly how much I need it here. I'll show you from this menu. It's a bit easier to see it. Uh, but yeah, I did figure out essentially how much they need in each category to make this full. So mother's milk, I have gone over a bit that, that amount, but at least it's done for a while. The milk replacer is the next big one. That one's going to require at least another thousand in each, um, in each pen. Um, and the only thing that we can use with the milk replacer is this tank as well, I believe. Um, basically, because if you look in the shop, you can see here it shows this one's just water. This one here is water, colostrum, and then the milk replacer and maybe calf ca ca food. I don't know. This looks like milk as well. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, it would be nice to have a bigger one of these, especially a hand push one. Because the only hand push one is about half that capacity. So that would really not be all that great. 170 liters, come on. Even this one can't do the uh, colostrum as well. So we really are sort of stuck with this, uh, which is fine because it is, we can't, at least we can do it. Uh, but yeah, the milk replacer is going to be the next big thing that we kind of faff along with. But once we get that in, the, the calves will be very happy for it. And I think having the colostrum on the farm will be a massive game changer as well. Uh, because then we can just bring it as we need it. We don't need to, to worry about going to another farm. We don't need to worry about all that. And just bring it as the calves do need it. So, right, I need to get this angle sorted. Oh, look, that's right there. Come on. Oh, no, this is the one that probably has to go into the... Into here, doesn't it? That's mental. <laughs> Every time. Every bloody time. Come on. Yeah, the, the handheld one does have its benefits, at least, as far as getting in here. But, there we go. Yeah, just, it'd be, it would be nice if the trigger was not in such a spot, you know? Um, I suppose, I suppose, we could relocate the manure pit, because that's where this is here. It's a big old pit of, uh, oh right, we need more. More of it. Uh, yeah, a big old pit of manure there. So, I don't know if we'd get rid of that or what, but... Right, I need the Unimog in a better place. I don't have to do this every time. But uh, yeah, we will slowly but surely get all this milk replacer in as well. 
Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of the uh, back of the of the rustler and the front of it, I suppose, in this regard. But at least it's getting done. So happy about that. Uh, the calves are really the main focus now. Now that we've got the, uh, we're just waiting to harvest things, and the fact that. Um, yeah, that we don't have cows yet. Once we get cows as well, that will be another sort of busy thing. Uh, very exciting though, but it all depends on when everything is ready to harvest. So we should have a cheeky peek at it all, just to see. Um, but everything around is ready, except for our fields. <laughs> everything but our fields are ready. We could go for 52, but that's a fairly large chunk there. Um, I don't know how much that actually is either. It's not bad. Actually, it's really good yield potential. How soon do we want food? Because these are still showing a bit of ways away. We should pop down there, actually. Right, how are they doing for all their stuff? Let's have a look. That's cool. Both at 777. That's cool. Uh, milk replacer. Right, we'll put another... Which one is this? That's the one next to you. We'll put one more into that one so they're a bit more even. And then once that's done, I will pop down to that field 52 because I might just buy that bloody field. I might just buy, buy that field and get started in it because I think if we have at least hay, then we can get cows fed. I might even just get like a few cows, like a handful of them, just to, uh, just to be able to get something going. My only concern is that if they, they'd have to be like ready to calf. Um, because otherwise they won't produce colostrum at all that they'll just they'll just be cows right which is fine i do we, we want the cows but i think they have to be like past the age of maturity where they you know they're they're ready to to calf again i don't know if they need a bull or not these are all things we're going to learn as we go i know there's a there's a um a guide like a, a sort of a oh black bugger I know there's sort of a, a PDF guide for the map itself, but as for the information on Terra Life Plus, I'm not 100% certain. Very well could be. Here, let's just mosey on down to that field now. Uh, but basically my point is I didn't want to look into it too much because I wanted to learn the, these things as we go. So whether or not we need the bull reigns to be seen, I can't see us not ne needing a bull uh, for the, uh, the cows, especially with the you know realis realism of everything else. Um, is this it here? Oh, this must be it here. Right, let's just pop in. Oh, it is. Oh, it's ready for forage, it says. Right, is this the right field? It has to be. It is. So it does say it's ready for... to harvest, so that would be a bit longer yet. Um, it's quite nice, though. Nice big field that, but we really don't need it unless we're doing some kind of arable. Because I'd, I'd be very tempted to. Uh, do we need to plow it though? Ah, see that's a bugger. No, we've already done all our other fields. We really should look at even if there was another smaller one. I just really want to get cows sorted. But oh, hang on. What we could do is buy that small bit, and then get some hay from there. But yeah, it really depends. Hmm. Many, many options we've got. Let's have a look at this pen, though. I think we'd be better off waiting for our own fields, because then we'll have so much hay. But cows do eat a lot of food. Um, so that could really play a factor in as well. Actually, my only concern... Where's the entrance here? My only concern for this is that if we were to get cows in here, because this is a cow... Th this has to be... It can't just be a random sort of grassy area. It, ha it has to be for uh, for cows. But if we do, we've already got so much room for other cows, but they might be able to graze here is my thinking. But will they produce colostrum still? Maybe this is for bulls. It says hay meadow. Hmm. That is so cool. I didn't know you could actually click on it. Is this a new thing? Is this a Terra Life Plus thing? Or is this a base game thing that I've just found out? You can, from this menu, you can click on the bloody fields and see what's in it. You've got to be joking. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. 
It must be a Terra Life Plus thing, because I've never noticed that before. Wow. Does it, it just shows the same based on... Yeah, that's wicked. Right, well, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Right, I don't think we'll be buying this. I think we'll wait. Um, we could actually... You know what? Mm. As cheeky as it might be, we could just buy some hay. Because I, I have a feeling that hay would be a very beneficial thing for the cows to at least get them started producing colostrum. And if I'm wrong, then we can buy all the other food we need for them as well until our grass is ready. Because look, it says 17 of 28. I noticed for a second that the other field that we drove in that was sort of not destroying the, the grass, but was flattening it, I suppose, did have a higher growth rate later on, but then it changed back. Because now it's all the same again. Right, we drove through about here, and I'm not seeing any difference at all. Oh, I'm seeing 18 of... Okay, maybe, maybe. 18. I swore it said 17 a minute ago. Maybe it's just changed. Anyways, it's still a bit away. So I might look into the logistics of buying a... Uh, stack of hay bales and just seeing if it works if I can give it to cows and if it doesn't and if they require so much other food then so be it we will do that the cash that we have part of that money was was to go towards the um, well a few different things really uh, arable kit as well but if we really don't I really don't think I want to do arable kit which will save us a lot of money as well as buying other fields um, because we might realize how quickly the cows will eat this grass or that we do need an arable field and then we can have a smaller one that doesn't really, I don't know, you know, uh, require us to buy a whole lot of, uh, of kit for it. But yes, I think that's what we will do. So let me just tuck this away because I'll, I'll, mm, we do want to put milk replacer in somewhere, possibly right in between there. So I'll just get this parked up here. And I will do all this on camera because uh, this is part of this sort of... Um, this series of mine is sort of showing the, the process. Is The only thing with the colostrum was because it was, you know, more of a, <clears throat> a role play sort of thing. That uh, That's why I didn't really show what was going on with that. But once we get our own uh, colostrum from cows, we will absolutely be focusing on the, uh, the delivering of it, uh, you know, on camera really. Right, so let's get oh, get the two in, and we are golden. I suppose I could have just kept this on there and then just used it as a weight for when we put. So we'll probably put bales on the trailer instead, not so much on the the Unimog itself, but should be good just right there. Yeah, because then we can easily access all the things we need. Um, I do hope that the. Uh, the bales sort themselves out as well. What I mean by that is that they're supposed to be able to remove them from from the pallet, but I couldn't. It didn't work. Let's try it now. Let's get that shut. There we go. So I should be able to go up to it and remove them, but that is, yeah. See, it says right there, remove object, but unfortunately... It does not work. So maybe I'm just doing something incorrectly or maybe somebody has any insight as to that as well. Because um, that would be so handy. We wouldn't have to faff with the loader just for that. Uh, but what we'll do now is we will get into the Unimog here. Get the engine fired up. Let's get ourselves connected back to our trailer. And now, as I say, I don't know anything about this as far as getting hay for the cows if it's going to work, how much they need, if it, it, you know, yeah, there's just so many f factors with this now that I don't know if it's going to actually pan out. So I'm really hopeful it does. Let's have a look though, just to see how much do does hay cost, right? There's calf hay, compact, haylage, 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 many haylages. Those are for horses, it would seem. Horse hay specifically, we've got the calf hay, that's fine because that we know we have. Um, yeah, I guess it's just hay bales. Now, I think the best thing, can we get a discount on it somehow? Nice. 
That's really not as bad as I thought. I think they've improved the prices of bales. They really have. They've made it much better. Um, I think square bales would be best. I'd prefer them. So we've got clover, alfalfa, meadow, horse, clover, alfalfa. We'll go with alfalfa because I think most of our fields are alfalfa. Um, oh, wow. Clover is much more expensive for the same amount. Interesting. Why? It's not a denser bale. Weighs the same. Why would this be worth less? Well, I'm taking a chance on it at least. Yeah, we should be able to fit eight bales. I, I, I'm doing it mostly for the discount. Um, yeah, as soon as we get less. Yeah, that's just a good deal. <laughs> God, that's so much hay. But if we get cows, I mean, maybe we could do bulls as well. We don't have to necessarily... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just taking a chance on it. You know what? Let's let's put the order through for these bales. And um, surely by the time we get down to the shop, they'll be there ready for us. So let's do... Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'm going to try it. Try something. When we get back, we'll be able to look at our... So I'll just go to a more normal page. There we go. Um, to our a cow uh, farm. Like the proper one. Where is it? The... The Kunstal Gundish. That's the one. Yeah, that one there. So, right, we'll head down to the shop, collect these hay bales, and uh, come back, and then hopefully we'll be able to uh, buy some cows as well. All right, my favorite place in the world, <laughs> the, the shop. Right, let's see how this goes with sorting these bloody bales. Um, yeah, I still don't know why the alfalfa in particular was so much uh, less expensive than the clover very interesting to know though so yes right let's get these sorted they shouldn't be too bad i'll probably do four and then four just to see how far they go because i can always put some on the back of the unimog as well so that is a good i know this isn't the right tool for this really but it's the only tool they've provided us here so i'm just going to take it as is can we get four of them I think not. I feel like I've only got two. No, wow, okay. Let's just do that then. Oh, right, the 6,000 would be the two at the bottom, so that's really good news. Now let's just be very gentle with our movements here. Just get those nicely placed. I think we'll have no problem getting all eight on here. Yeah, that should be really good. So let's just have a look though and see. Oh, bugger, where? I didn't even see that happen. Right, they're going to they're gonna re revoke my privileges here, doing doing things at the shop. They are apps. Oh, that's not, that's not on. <laughs> right, I don't know what's going on here now. Let's just put these in the middle then, I suppose, and put the other ones there, the ones that are actually stacked. Hello? There we go. Now how... God, what's happened? I swore they were all stacked up nice before. I must have just pushed them over and not even realized. What a silly monkey. Oh no, it's 6,000 per bale. That's right. Oh, I am all over the place. Crikey. I think I'm just too excited to get this going. Same thing that happened when I was getting the calves as well. So I appreciate your support and your patience getting this all sorted out. Crikey. Oh my word. Okay, well that's good at least. We've got those on here. We'll try and get these two bales uh, sort of stacked. I don't think the Unimog bed is wider. Could be. Could be a bit wider. Let's have a look. This is all hoping that this works as well. We don't even know if this is actually going to work or not. I think that's stacked on pretty nicely. There we go. Nope, nope, not at all. Not in the slightest. Hmm. 
Right, okay, this is just going terribly, terribly wrong. I think if we have the option here... Oh, very good. Right, this might be a bit more useful, having the, uh, the work camera on. There we go, can see things much, much better now. It's a nice, uh, nice feature of these uh, these implements as well as that you get a bit of a bit of a work camera on them. It's probably why you pay a bit bit more for them as well. Nope, you stay the bloody on there. Nice. Right, so we'll just get those two brought over to, and we can go back. We go bring these over to the Unimog. Could be the space as well. Could have just been too tight to. Uh, to the wall there, which I know someone suggested putting like a pallet or something there, which is not a bad shout. I might even just put the bloody wheel loader there, like I said before, just to make things a little easier. Now we should have a look at this here and see that yeah, that's fine. So we will put three on the flatbed. Instead, so we'll do yeah three tall on the flatbed there. That should be all right As long as we can figure out where The other bale's gone. Oh, there it is. All right, we want it this way though Yep. Oh, no, I don't ha now. It's collected together interesting all Right. well, we might as well strap these down. Yeah, there you go Let's Get those at least partially strapped so that we can easily place and then we'll get the uh, the final one strapped on as well. Wow, they 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 are going to say something at the shop here if I uh, I'm not too careful. Yeah, let's get that work camera back on. Might be what helps us out the most. Possibly just a little off today, it would seem, with all this loading madness. Right, just the one more to go. We'll keep it in work mode as well. The work camera mode, I should say. Could be the articulation. That always gets me. Every series that I have some articulated vehicle, it always gives me issues. But that's my own fault for uh, for choosing articulated kit, I guess. <laughs> ah, it's just a shoppy shop anyway, so it's not, not so bad. Right, that is a lot of bales. Now, we should be all set for food for a while. Bugger, why? Lost half the bloody food out the back there. Looked pretty lined up to me. As I said, these are the processes you're going to get. The reality of it all. No need to uh, to hide from the loading. Might well, maybe now, from now on, maybe. I think I might stick to a loading wagon. Forget the bales. <laughs> In the future of all this, I think I'll just do... <laughs> I think I'll just be doing lo uh, loading with a wagon instead. Right, let's keep this here, just to avoid the faff with the shop trigger and all. And that should be fine. <laughs> all right, look at this crazy stack. This is taking way too long to get stacked. Let's get those strapped in. And I think now we're probably good to head back so we'll safely make our way back to the cow uh, shed, get these loaded nearby, and then we'll go and pick up some cows. Alright, we are back here at the farm. So I do have these uh, bales all stacked here. I think I'm going to leave this right here. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might be the best, just for now, uh, just the trailer at least, and then I can still scoop by if I need to, but I will leave this here because I'm not too certain where it all goes, uh, like where their food will go, uh, meaning, like, I think it's this one here, obviously this makes the most sense, but as you can see, there is this above as well, so maybe we should bring it around to another side, unless we can sneak the bales through here, we might be able to get that. Uh, telehandler through here, but if not Where is that? How do we get up there? I think it's around the side here. Oh, right Right, right, right. This is where I believe this is where the dryer is 
So in reality, we could have bought grass and just dried it ourselves. Because this here is the dryer. That's that entrance there. So maybe we want to bring the bales up here. That might be the best thing to do. Actually, I will do that really, really quickly here. Uh, also, we need to come down here to get our animal trailer. I don't know how many cows to get. I kind of just want to get, like, two. J just to see how it works. Um, like, two full, like, full-size cows, though. Not, uh... Not growing or nothing, just like proper full-size, ready-to-go cows. Uh, which will be probably about a couple thousand pounds each, or a couple thousand euros each. Oh, have we got stuck there? Wait, stuck on what? Right, let's try this again, shall we? Ah, the stupid trailer. Are you serious? Right, maybe we can't get up there keeps getting caught on the uh, on the ground it's too much of an incline oh that's terrible right, let's try again it's different slightly different angle come on no we are not okay well that's fine then we'll just leave the lot of it here actually if we can do just along the side yeah not quite what I was hoping but <laughs> something like that um, yeah and then we'll pop up to the uh, to the animal trailer and get yeah, we'll just put this here for now that should be fine very very in the way but that's all right we do need to go up here get the animal trailer as well and then at the very least get some cows uh, hopefully loaded in to the uh, to the shed but we'll have a look when we get to the animal dealer just how much they're going to cost which isn't a really big deal because we do have the cash for it but I just don't know if it's the right thing. I don't know if it's what we need. So, anyways, we do have the animal trailer here. We will just keep these bales on here for the time being, at least. And then we'll head down to the animal dealer and get some cows. All right, so here we are in, uh, or at the animal dealer. Now, we do have the red pied cows. We've got the Simmental cow. I think we'll get some um, Holsteins for these cows. Some proper, proper cows. Some full cows, full-size cows, fully grown up and had its first calf, which means, I hope it means, <laughs> that it will produce colostrum. Hopefully it's not just as they, as they are, produ as they, let's say they have had their calves, is there a certain amount of time that they produce colostrum? Um, this one does say it's ready to be covered by a bull aka have the baby or at least prepare that process this one has though so it's literally got a year on it a year over this other one um this would take quite the process so the gestation period so that yeah okay 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 so 18 months meaning that if we get a bull on it now it'll be 10 months before it actually gives birth this one's done that as of like two months the cow the calves that we have are two months so this might be the best option to do. Now, I think I'll do three. I was going to do two, but I'm going to do three. I just, a better feeling. I feel like three is the better option. We've got three calves. We've got three cows. I think that'll be nice. Um, and then we'll go from there. We can add more if we need. But three of them, we will start producing milk as well with these cows, which is really good. So let's just get those purchased for that price. Oh, what did that say? Missed all that said. Are we are we all set? Some something's wrong. Something's gone wrong there. But I didn't take any money, did it? I don't think it did. It didn't. Not for that. Okay, let's try this again. Holstein cows. Right, we want just three of them. Do yes, I do. Don't have enough space in your husbandries. What is that for then? Hmm. I see. This can this not hold and the cows? I don't understand. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. I don't want to buy these. I want to buy these. 
Why can't I? Holstein cows, okay. Right, so this is the machine we're putting them in. We buy them, and it says we don't have space. Okay, well, that's where this episode ends then. <laughs> I have no idea. I was trying to sort it out, but I guess not. Please do uh, let me know what the crack is with that. Do I not have the right setup for cows? Uh, do I need to have them younger and then they grow older? Do not understand. If anyone can explain that would be great. Um, if I do have to buy a an outside pasture and then transfer them over, that's fine as well. But how dare it say I don't have room when I literally have an empty barn that can fit 38 cows. Um, now, I do know that uh, there was the one, this one here, saying about how it's like a temporary in-between sort of space. But this one, this should be, this should be the main cow spot. Um, I mean, unless I'm missing something as far as like the translation of it to see what that actually means um, but I will do so because yeah that's a bit confusing um, so let's have a look and see what that all works out to mean because yeah I, I what my understanding was that that's a proper um, like a proper cow shed but if that's not this the case because obviously I'm learning my German here <laughs> in this instance um, but I think so from just from what I've gathered the the, the name is Gundich that could be because as you see Gundischhof so I, that means that that's the name of the farm um, and this has something to do with sheep obviously this just means cow shed so uh, I should be able to put cows in no <laughs> I don't uh, yeah I'm not too sure about that um, I'm going to just double check what this actually means as well. Um, but if I can spell it properly. But uh, yeah, that's okay. Somebody did explain what the Abcalbe box is. Um, but I do not uh, know for certain what the other one's for. So yeah, this one's supposed to be like for calves as well. So as they grow into the next sort of... As they grow out of these calf huts, they'll go into this one here. And then from here, I imagine they go into here, but then where do they go when they become full-size cows? So that's the problem for the next episode, I suppose. Please do let me know. We've got all these hay bales ready to go, um, but for some reason, I can't buy cows. What I could try is having them delivered directly to the farm, but I'd like to take my bloody trailer that I bought to do it. So what we'll do next time is if we can't buy them through here we might be able to buy them and have them delivered to the farm but i would like to do it this way especially since we are literally here right now so please do let me know if you happen to know so that does do it for the end of this episode thank you so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed it and if you have done cheeky thumbs up always helps out the channel if you're new to the channel please subscribe so until the next one though please do take care and bye for now